Refitting a radio controlled Glasgow paddle steamer. This is part 6. Boiler works, reassembly. As the hydraulic test was totally successful, the boiler is past fit for service. I've only removed one of the blanking plugs, and that's the one that was in the hole where the banjo union fits, which holds the pressure gauge siphon in place. And I've refitted the pressure gauge because I want to test that as well. I had to remove the pressure gauge because it only goes up to £80 per square inch, and forcing it with the hydraulic test up to £100 per square inch could have damaged it. Now I'm going to pump the boiler up to £50 per square inch, which is working pressure, and if everything is OK, the small pressure gauge should also read £50 per square inch, or just under, which is what it's doing at the moment. That's it, everything's fine, the boiler can go back together and be fitted into the boat. But before that, I want to test the boiler on steam. I need to drain all the water out of the boiler, remove the blanking plugs and fit a water gauge. In this clip, I'm dismantling the fitting that sits on top of the boiler. This is a one-way valve and it stops the vacuum from forming as the steam disappears. A vacuum in the boiler after steaming is not desirable because it will suck the water that's in the pipes complete with the steam oil into the boiler. The problem is this small valve doesn't work because the o-ring is really hard and brittle. I've removed it and fitted a new silicone o-ring and here I'm putting it back together. And I'm making sure the nut on the top of it is tight, I don't want it to work loose. The first thing to do is to remove the blanking plug from the top of the steam dome and refit this small one-way valve back in place. If you're a complete beginner to the world of steam, you may be wondering, what do I mean by steam dome? Well, a steam dome is the part of the boiler that sits on top of it. Normally, it's round on a steam locomotive, but the round, sexy dome shape is just a cover. The purpose of a steam dome is to take steam from the highest point in the boiler, and this is definitely the highest point. The slightly larger hole in the top of the boiler takes a safety valve. The safety valve has an o-ring fitted, so it just needs screwing in finger tight. Out comes the blanking plug on the other side of the turret and I'm going to fit the steam outlet in place of it. Like this in fact. This is the main steam outlet that goes to the engine. This blanking plug is not the original blanking plug that fits in this hole. The bottom blanking plug has an o-ring on it, I'm going to use that. Now all the blanking plugs have been removed and it's time to refit the boiler to the boiler mounting plate. The boiler is very simply fitted to these two mountings and it's held to the mountings using two boiler bands and two 6BA bolts. And for this job I'm using new 6BA bolts. This method of fixing doesn't hold the boiler very tight, but if you think about it, when the boiler is hot, it expands and gets slightly larger, and that's why when it's cold it appears to be quite a slack fit on the mounting. There is a bit of adjustment on the boiler bands themselves because they have a slot at the end of each of them. So as I finally tighten the bolts, I push the boiler bands down so the bolts grab them at the top of the slot. This part that I'm cleaning is the pipe that goes from the safety valve up the chimney. And to clean this pipe I'm using some 000 grade wire wool. And this was sent to me by a very kind viewer in Australia and it's the best stuff I've ever found for cleaning copper pipe. The specially shaped fitting at the bottom of the pipe fits over the safety valve to pipe away the steam when it's blowing off. As I fit the chimney extension in place, I realise there are two slight problems. Problem number one, the pressure gauge is in the wrong place, and problem number two, the safety valve pipe needs to be bent so it runs in line with it. These are not really problems, they're just minor adjustments. The first thing I did was just to reverse the banjo union, which holds the pressure gauge siphon to the steam dome. Then I bent the safety valve extension pipe very slightly so it ran in line with the chimney and held it in place with the silicone rubber o-ring. In the next episode I will be fitting the water gauge and giving the boiler a steam test. But until then, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.